Picture this. You receive an invitation to an elegant event with a dress code that features colors you know won't flatter your skin tone. Maybe it's soft pastels that make your complexion look dull or muted tones that do nothing to enhance your natural glow. It's frustrating, but instead of feeling defeated, you realize there are ways to work with what you have and look fabulous. Now imagine a woman who absolutely adores a bold fuchsia dress. She envisions herself radiating confidence, but when she tries it on, the color seems to emphasize every line and shadow on her face. It's a beautiful color, but it just doesn't feel right. The trick is to find ways to bring out her inner glow, even with those unflattering hues. In today's video, we'll explore clever tricks for mature women to embrace those tricky colors without adding years to your look. Let's dive in. When it comes to choosing colors like blush pink or other pastels, consider the fabric as much as the hue itself. Sometimes a luxurious material such as silk, satin, or velvet can elevate these softer shades, making them more flattering for warm or olive undertones and even cool tones. The sheen and texture of these fabrics add dimension and warmth, transforming the color into something truly special. Imagine stepping out in a beautiful blush pink silk dress. The way it catches the light brings out the richness in your skin tone, making you glow with elegance. If you have a cool skin tone and find that some nude pastels wash you out, incorporating texture can work wonders. Think about adding lace, embroidery, or knitwear to those nude pastel pieces. The added depth helps these colors look more dynamic and vibrant against your skin. Note, ladies, these textures like silk elevate blush pink from girly to glamorous in an instant. Remember, darlings, it's all about creating a sense of balance. If the color is soft, the fabric should be rich and luxurious. Now for my neutral ladies out there. Choosing the right fabric is paramount when it comes to wearing pastels. For those with neutral skin tones, fabric choice can be more important than the color itself. For example, a flat, matte nude might look bland, while a satin or velvet nude will add richness. A flat, matte fabric can sometimes make pastels look a bit dull especially on neutral skin tones. But a fabric with a bit of sheen or texture can really bring them to life. It's like the difference between wearing a plain cotton t-shirt and a silk blouse. The silk blouse instantly elevates your look, wouldn't you agree? Before we move on to the next tip, consider avoiding colors that are too cool or pale as they can leave you looking washed out. Instead of opting for a cool pastel pink, try a warmer shade with peach or coral undertones. This will enhance olive or golden skin tones without making them appear dull or sallow. Think of it like choosing the perfect lipstick. If you have warm undertones, you'd steer clear of cool toned pinks, right? The same idea applies to your clothing choices. That said, some people can pull off a mix of both warm and cool tones with the right balance. Now let's talk about a clever strategy to make those unflattering colors work for you, color blocking. As we age, certain shades might no longer highlight our best features, but that doesn't mean you have to avoid them altogether. By strategically pairing these colors with more flattering shades, you can still wear them confidently. I had a client who loved a deep mustard yellow. It wasn't the best match for her complexion, but instead of telling her to toss it, we paired it with rich jewel tones like emerald or sapphire blue. The contrast brought the focus back to her face, giving her that glow we're all after. The trick is balance. If you love a color that tends to wash you out, try combining it with stronger shades that complement your skin tone. It's like framing a picture. The right colors draw the eye to the best part, you. Here are some more examples of color blocking that you can try when dealing with unflattering colors. Let's start off with shades of blue. A light blue top, jeans, and a darker shade of blue. This outfit is a great color blocking formula for a mature woman who loves simplicity with a touch of sophistication. If light blue tends to wash you out, 
The deeper shade of blue anchors the outfit, drawing attention away from the lighter top, which might be unflattering on its own. Adding deeper blue accessories or shoes further enhances the contrast, ensuring the lighter blue doesn't dominate or wash you out. The varied tones create depth, allowing you to enjoy light blue without compromising on looking effortlessly stylish. Two, we have shades of purple. Regal purple pants and a royal purple top, topped with a white blazer. This combination is perfect for a mature woman who loves bold yet elegant outfits. If a rich purple might feel overwhelming, breaking it up with a crisp white blazer creates a chic contrast. The white lightens the overall look, making the purple less intense on your skin, while still keeping the outfit balanced and stylish. This outfit is great for the woman who wants to look vibrant and sophisticated without letting a strong color overpower her appearance. Three, we have an emerald green blazer with a purple sweater dress. For the bold and confident woman, this is a striking example of color blocking with complementary shades. If you feel that purple alone doesn't suit your complexion, layering it with emerald green blazer helps bring balance. Both jewel tones work together to create a vibrant, eye-catching outfit that still flatters your skin. This look is perfect for someone who wants to stand out while maintaining an elegant and well-balanced appearance. When you use this color blocking technique, you can make even the toughest shades work for you. Just because a color might not flatter you on its own doesn't mean it's off limits. It's all about placement and pairing. Notice these are more dressed up outfits, but if you'd like a video on how to color block unflattering and flattering colors for casual outfits, let me know in the comments. This will show me it's worth diving into a detailed video just for that. I'd like to note that if layering isn't your style, you can still wear unflattering colors by strategically placing them away from your face. Lastly, let's explore the power of statement accessories. Bold makeup or eye-catching jewelry can create a focal point that prevents those nude pastels from making your look feel flat. Consider stunning necklaces or a vibrant lipstick to elevate your style. Remember, jewelry and accessories in different tones can significantly change how colors interact with your skin. Silver accents can cool down warmer shades, while gold adds warmth to cooler colors. This simple trick can make a world of difference. If you love warm nude pastels but find they don't always flatter you, pair them with cool-toned accessories like silver jewelry, icy gray scarves, or a beautiful balance with your cool complexion. On the other hand, if you're rocking cool or muted nude pastels, infuse some warmth with gold jewelry, a tan belt, or stylish camel shoes to bring a lovely glow to your look. Remember, you can wear any color you like, just do it strategically. If you found these tips helpful, please like this video and subscribe for more amazing content just for you. Until next time, stay fabulous.